What do you got there, Rosie? Oh, yeah, I think. It's gonna have to stop, you know. Where are you, my father? Come on, I'm taking you home. I ain't going home. Let's go to your place. Yeah. Hey, George. Uh, what do you want? I gotta move you. Just like old times, eh? Yeah. Uh, George, you ugly fart. Right here. Well, if she's gonna sleep it off, okay? Can you keep an eye on both of them? Sure. Try the bottom one, Rosie. Good idea. She didn't want to go home. Why don't you go home and get some sleep? Somebody could freeze. I just came from out there and there was nobody but Rosie. I'll go back out in a couple of hours. A couple of hours is all it takes. Willie, I'm gonna grab some sleep. I've never seen it this bad. I have. Worse. What, when Albert was chief? Before we went dry. Like you slept here. Is there any coffee? I can make some. What the hell are you doing? What's this? Scaled down version of the tannery. Oh, Peter. Yellow knife isn't even gonna look at another tannery proposal. They'll look, I called. Our deal with Yellowknife is that they'll match private funds. Our private investors are in jail in Italy. We'll raise the money ourselves. We're suing the Sangalis. I talked to a lawyer in Geneva last night. Geneva, Switzerland, Geneva? Yeah. I met him at a conference in Ottawa a couple of years ago, and we kept in touch. But the Sangalis are in jail. Their assets have been seized. They signed a contract. They owe us. We're suing them for costs and damages. We'll try to cut a deal. He thinks we got a chance. It'll take years. Months. Meanwhile, we'll keep Yellowknife on the hook. And we'll lose this winter, but next year we'll be back on the rails. Well, you got a better idea? I want this on display at the feast tonight. Shouldn't we wait? This town needs some good news. That's what I mean, shouldn't we wait? Is everything ready? For the feast? Yeah. What are you guys doing? Joey? What are you doing in there? Sleeping. You having some troubles at home? Is your dad drinking? I guess. Thanks, guys. Come on out of there. You're lucky you didn't freeze. It's not that cold, though. Yeah? You hungry? You want some breakfast? I ain't got no money. Don't worry about it. You can get the next one. Jerry, where's my food? Jerry. Jerry. Hold your horses, okay? I'll be there in a minute. Twelve dollars? Last week it was nine. Yeah? Well, now it's twelve. Take it or leave it. Leave the money in the counter. I want my change. 
Their usual. I don't know what your usual is. Rosie does. Rosie doesn't work here anymore. Hey, where are you going? Where are you going? Your, your order's ready. Scrambled eggs and ham. Thank you. Morning, Joey. Morning. Two coffee and uh, breakfast for Joey. <laughs> you paying? Yeah, I'm paying. Here. You want anything? Uh, no, I'll, I'll pass. Thank you. Jerry. What? Looks like you could use some help. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> him? Yeah, him. What do you think? Hey, hey, where are you going? <sighs> All right, 2.50 now. You start with the dishes. Uh-uh. Minimum wage. Fine. Under 16. Part-time. <laughs> what? Rosie. But what about her? Can't just take her job. It's not her job. It's my job. I gave it to her. Rosie's at the detachment, Joey. You won't last 20 minutes. Don't look at me like that. As if you don't know what it's like. I got better. I thought you did, too. I fell off the wagon, okay? Big deal. I'll get back on. No problem. What? Spit it out! They want me to work at the coffee shop. I don't care. Do what you want. You all right? What do you think? We're going after the Singalis for damages and costs. If we win, we're still in business. The tannery is dead, Peter. Not yet. Phoned Yellowknife. Have to scale down a little. Make it a little more grassroots. I'm announcing it tonight. And get everybody's hopes up again. People are desperate. I can fix this with a Band-Aid, or I can fix it with something that's real. This tannery is real. No one is going to believe you. Not anymore. I'm doing the best that I can. What are you doing? I'm seeing drunks all over the place. Why aren't the Mounties arresting the Golos, or is that my fault, too? You gonna buy them or not? What about the single? Can't sell singles. And what can I do for you? What's with the prices? It's for my new retirement fund. I lost 50 grand because of you. Remember the tannery? Give me the shells. How much? That'll do. It's nice to know somebody in this town has money. Don't forget the feast tonight. Lots of food. Here you go, Sam.
beyond. So you're gonna sell the TV next? I fell off the wagon, okay? It's no big deal. You keep saying. Get off my back. Turn it down! What are you yelling at them for? What? You want me to quit? Fine, I'll quit. Yeah, right. Watch me. Go check the band office. Peter, everybody knows it's here. Well, then where are they? Maybe there's a hockey game or something. You tried. Well, <clears throat> might as well put this stuff away. You read. Heard there was a feast. Guess I'm early. Time to read the writing on a wall. What writing is that, Albert? The people have lost confidence in their chief. Maybe it's... Uh, Time for a change. Maybe Albert's right. Screw Albert. He's just trying to spook you. Nobody showed up. Maybe I should resign. <laughs> resign? Come on, Peter. You still got six months left in your term. In politics, that's a lifetime. People are drinking again. They blame me for that, too. Well, they're disappointed. They'll get over it. Look, we got this lawyer in Switzerland. Yellowknife is standing by. Come on, we're not dead yet. Let me call Yellowknife. Maybe they've had a chance to look at the new plans. Come on. We can still do this. Where are you going? For a walk. I'm bored. Don't bother coming home if you're drunk. Don't tell me what to do. I'm just telling you. And who's going to take care of this family? You? Who says Albert's not bootlegging? Willie. Joe, too. Well, then where's it coming from? You know damn well it's Nathan. Albert's just pretending to clean up his act so he can run for chief again. We've got more than we can handle right here. Because everyone's buying booze from Nathan Golo. Oh, I see. What, we shut down the Golos and the party's over? I don't think so. So we do nothing? No. We keep a lid on things here until it calms down. Then we go after Nathan when we have more time. Maybe things don't calm down. Maybe things just get worse. If we cut off the supply, at least it helps. Okay, I'll go. He's living in the bush. You'll never find him. You talk to that lawyer in Switzerland? Well, what do you think? Which way are they leaning? Range. Listen, uh, I hear Brad Ainley's having kind of a rough time over in Fort Ross. Oh, yeah. So they're gonna let him go? <laughs> what do they expect? He doesn't have any experience. But I remember when I started up here. It's tough. <laughs> Maybe I should. Maybe I will. You don't have it. Wait, wait. Here. Take. Take it out of my pay. Get to work. What? How's business? Couldn't be better. How's things for you, Leon? Might be better if you hired Rosie back. They don't hire drunks. She busted her tail for you. And then she stabbed me in the back. That's what she did for me. Cry me a river, Leon. Cry me a river. Oh, thank you. 
had Albert's boys moved out. You must like that. That well, was Albert's idea. He just got tired of having them around. Of course, now they're mad at me. Where are they living? In the bush. Trapper's cabin. Where are by the ridge? I don't know. If I knew, I'd tell you. Do you remember Ray Jinka? Remember how he died? Yeah. Passed out from alcohol. Died from overexposure. Leon nearly died, too. I used to counsel them all, remember? Yeah. All the drunks. Didn't have a clue, but there I was. Like I understood. Rosie's drinking. I know. She came by for a bottle, and I had to tell her that Albert wasn't in the business anymore. Where'd she go? I don't know where the booze is, Michelle. They don't tell me. I don't want to know. He's out there somewhere. Near the cabin? He's out there a lot. Nathan? Does Rosie still hate me? I don't think so. Stay here. Open the door! I told you not to come home drunk! Ah, go to hell! Leon! You'll be all right. Be okay. You'll be okay. Room for one, please. Ever been to Fort Ross? What'd you think? It's kind of big. Why? I heard it was kind of nice. Did they offer you a job? Sounds like one might be available. Not that far from Lynx River. Hello. Oh, hi, Hank. What's up? <laughs> yeah. You could have been an artist. Yeah, right. You're working too hard. Hello. Switzerland. Hello. Bonjour. Oui, ça va. That's good. Good. Well, how, how far back in line are we? Okay. Uh, so how much is this going to cost us? What is it? No, no, that's great. But that's, that's a lot of dough. Uh, let me get back to you. Yeah, thanks. What? Well, some of the Sengali funds are being released. Uh, we got a shot, but <clears throat> he needs a $25,000 retainer with nothing guaranteed. I just spoke to Yellowknife. In light of the circumstances, they've decided to allocate the funds elsewhere. Taylor is dead, Peter. I'll do that. You should be at work. Peter. I'm not sure what to do. I've done enough. Just 
get out there. Take your lungs. Me and Mommy still love each other. Why didn't you let her in? Remember when I was drinking? Mommy was mean to me then. But she did it because she loved me. You see? We hated that too. I know, but she made me choose between you guys and being drunk. She'll come back. She'll be okay. I need a pill. When are you going to stop? I feel like it. You know what your problem is? You don't remember what fun is anymore. Well, maybe I should get pissed. Maybe you should. Remember the dance in Wolverine Lake? You sang with the band? <laughs> remember the drummer? Oh, we had some fun that night. We oh, yeah, had lots of fun, eh, Rosie? Why aren't you in counseling? Counsel yourself. I'm fine. I'll bring in social services. All right, that's enough. I mean it. But I don't know anyone in Fort Ross. You know the muskrats? I don't like the muskrats. They're show-offs. Look, all I'm saying is if Peter is no longer chief, then I'm going to need a job. And I don't want to go to Fort Ross alone. What about TV? What about the baby? Everyone can come. TV won't go. He doesn't know anyone in Fort Ross. What do you want to do? I'm not going to leave you here all alone. I said, what do you want to do? I don't know. You should decide. Give your buddy a hand. Why don't you? Not the same without Rosie. Hey, Joey, three coffees, please. Oh, not for me, thanks. Maybe later. I haven't seen Joe around. He's hunting. Been out for a week now. So what do we talk about? Anything you want. Sarah always asks us questions. Like what? Let's find new ways of being together. Rosie, what would you like from Leon? Bunch of BS. Something worked. Leon stopped drinking. You guys got married. It had nothing to do with Sarah. It was because of you and the kids. I didn't want to lose you. You made me choose. He drank for years, and I carried him. Now the shoe's on the other foot. Let him wear it for a while. The kids are upset. She doesn't care. She just cares about the booze. They've seen you drunk more than once. Rosie, if you want to stop, I'll stop when I'm ready. If you're not ready to stop, why did you agree to counseling? Because the cops threatened to take away the kids. Eric said that? Michelle! Yeah. And it's your fault making a big scene. I never told her to say that. Then you tell her to get her nose out of our business. No one is going to take away the kids. Now, let's talk some more about why Leon stopped. Rosie. Rosie? And you stay away from my kids, you hear? What did you say about the kids? I was trying to scare her. Leave us alone, OK? Slow. 
Jer. Jerry. What? I, uh, I need you to book me a flight to Fort Ross. Just tell Rose. What's in Ross? Brad Ainley's getting the boot. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Just covering my ass, Jerry. And I don't have any ass left to cover. Thanks to you. Look, don't blame me for this. We all took a dive. I lost $50,000. $50,000. And I knew better. That's what's killing me. But it was all... Come on, Jerry. You're one of us. You're a pal. You're a respected member of this community. And then they're spending my money. Not the governments, not the goddamn Italians. And then uh, we take a dive. But the only sucker who loses any hard coin is me. Look, I'm sorry, all right? If I could fix it, I would. You think I want to leave here now? Everybody got burnt on this, Jerry, but you walked into it with your eyes open, so quit whining. Now. Fort Ross return, how much? Does your friend, uh, the chief, know about this? He's got no right to keep me from my own house. That's right. I keep that house nice. I keep good care of my kids. Uh-huh. No one can say I'm a bad mother. Nobody. You're not gonna touch him! None! None! Keep me from my kids! God damn it, Shell! Upstairs. Mom, go, go, go! Take her to the house, sir. Take care of things here. Nobody cares. You're all pigs. Ah, uh, yeah. Apple. Now mind your own business, you hear? What are you looking at? You. Like what you see? No. I think I like the other Rosie better. Sit still. Win some, lose some. You ought to know. You lose this one, Rosie. You lose everything. How are your kids, Eric? When's the last time you saw them? Misery loves company, my old man used to say. Shut the door. What? They want to see their mother. Shut the door. Tell them to go home. Shut the door!
How is she? A uh, few stitches. Where are you going? After the bootlegger. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, why do you need a shotgun? How's about a Bible? Or maybe we should wait for the tannery to open so that people will have higher self-esteem. Michelle, don't do anything stupid. I didn't know you were going to be here. I see. Rosie uh, said some things to me, and I, I know she was drunk, but I get this feeling that she was just saying what everybody else was thinking. You told TV to help Joey today, in the coffee shop. You could have helped Joey. You talk too much. You never listen. People will tell you what they need if you let them. Maybe I should set up some meetings. Again? What would she say? She thinks we should get married. Sounds like a good idea. Lois. Marry me. Come to Fort Ross. Over my dead body? You marry him and I'm gone for good. That line's getting a little tired. You got something against your mother being happy? Yeah, I like you can make her happy. Yeah, I think I can, but why don't you ask her? You think he cares about you? All you are for him is a piece of... Stop it. Where do you want to go? Vancouver? Edmonton? How much money do you need? What, 500? Thousand? No, come on, how much? There's, uh, there's 800 bucks. Take that. I'll write you a check for another 15. That's 2,300. You go wherever the hell you please. Still not enough? There! I'll even look after your kid for you, seeing as you won't. Maybe you're just a mama's boy after all. That's enough. Leave him alone. Whatever you say. He's right. You have to make up your mind. Anything wrong? We need to set up a band meeting. What, the council? Everybody. The whole band. Why? This is my life too, Peter. Do you understand that? Heard you were drinking. Heard you were doing Albert Golo. Everybody knows that. Except for maybe my father. I don't even think. What do you think? I think you're nuts. Maybe, maybe not. At least I don't stink. Nice 
punch. Oh, I took it pretty good. <laughs> Why are you drinking? Why not? How are you gonna gain all that weight back? You were looking great there for a while. You know how many calories are in a bottle of booze? Oh, shut up, Sarah. Let me see. Oh, does it hurt? It hurts like hell. Alcohol is against the law in Lynx River. This ain't Lynx River. I can't, Coyote cried. You have to, Link said. And Raven. Raven knows that. You want to read the story? Boom. Ah. I'm sober. I'm tired. Sleep? so long ago, Harris there went south for a visit, and he came back with a couple of Italians who offered us a fair price for our furs, but I wanted more. And the same thing happened with Albert's plan to bring in the Trappers Association. We ended up with nothing, and you're blaming me. Well, I still think I'm right to demand for us more than the world is willing to give. But that's the only thing I do know. And a lot of you think I'm wrong about that. Either way, I've lost your trust. So I've decided to resign as chief and call an election. But I do think that you should have the chance to pass judgment on my record. So I am going to run. He might win. If he wins, you'll still have your job. He hasn't got a hope in hell. But what if... Look, I can't keep Fort Ross on the hook forever. We have to decide. You have to decide. We should wait. And what if he loses? You gonna run, Albert? I haven't decided. But if I do, the Mounties will be more accountable. You, uh, you got a problem, Albert? She destroyed some of Nathan's property with a gun. Alcohol is still illegal in this town. He wasn't in town. You use the law the way your brother uses tradition for your own purposes.
I broke a few bottles. Take it out of my salary. You don't have any salary left, pal. Give me my money back. No refunds for coffee. You can't charge for this swill. No. Says who? What do you think you're doing? I paid for coffee. I'm going to have one. I'll have one too, Rosie. See, the flame is hottest right here. When things are done, you move them to the sides. Job. You don't work here, remember? Rosie, hot turkey special. You're fired. All right on. Take it out of my salary. Get out of here. These are no good to me. My sister married a white mutt. And Albert's mother was a white mutt. I know. 